Tankridge voters should have gotten their April 2nd municipal election ballots in the mail by now. Lauren Maxwell shows us how you can make sure your vote is received and counted. Well, they call it vote by mail, but don't let the name fool you. Voters have choices when it comes to getting your ballot back and getting it counted. At the Anchorage Vote Center, things are starting to move. Last week, more than 200,000 ballots were mailed to registered voters. Election workers say if you didn't get one, you need to let them know. Registered voters should be seeing them in their mailbox by now. Um, but again, if they haven't, then just call our vote center here and request a replacement ballot. When it comes to getting ballots where they need to go, there are options. Workers are now collecting ballots daily from 18 secure drop boxes across the city. Of course, you can always return your ballot by mail, which will require a stamp. And next week, people who prefer to vote in person can do that too at voting centers that include City Hall. You can come to one of our vote centers uh, and hand, it, hand in a voted ballot that way, or you can vote in person at one of those vote centers. People who want to know exactly when their ballot was received and accepted can go to a municipal web page and sign up for ballot tracking. It will also tell you when it's been accepted, or if there's something wrong with it, such as the signature doesn't match or there's no signature, you will also get a notification about that as well. The city says it will notify people by mail within three business days if it finds a problem with the ballot, saying it wants to ensure that every vote counts. Now, even though the election is April 2nd, there's a good chance that the Anchorage mayoral race will require a runoff of the top two candidates. If that happens, look for more ballots in the mail at the end of the month. Lauren Maxwell, Alaska's News Source.